Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial. This is the hair tutorial. I give you guys many different options and ways to wear this. That's why I love doing hair tutorials when I do them. There's many different varieties of this. I love this hair. I always see pictures on Instagram of cheerleaders who have the huge hair and it's so cute and it's curly and it's in a ponytail like this and I'm like, Mer, wish I had that. So I kind of recreated it for you guys and I did it using extensions. You don't have to use extensions because I know that extensions can be very hard to put in a high ponytail like this. I'll show you guys a way that I do it, the way that works best for me. There's many different ways, but this is what works best for me. So if you want to learn how to get your hair from this to this, then have no fear. Pink Sparkles is here to show you. Let's get started. You definitely don't need hair extensions for this look, but if you want to give your look a little bit more oomph, length, volume, whatever the case may be, I would recommend extensions. These extensions that I'm going to be using are from besthairby.com and they are the besthairby.com. Clips are a big thing to me and these clips are awesome. They are very secure and the hair is great. Very luscious and thick and full and the customer service is great as well they email you back right away and they're very nice and sweet so I just love this company all around the hair doesn't really match my hair color because my hair color is a little bit unique my hair color is a little bit grayish blonde I'd say or ashy blonde is the right term so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash these first and I'm using cold water so this is a way to sort of dye your extensions but not really I'm kind of just toning them because they are blonde they don't need to be dyed at all. So I'm just going to tone them into a different blonde. And a very quick way to do that is to use a purple or a blue shampoo. I'm using AG brand. It's an indigo shampoo. So all I'm going to do is put these all over the hair. So I'm just going to put that much on and I'm just going to massage all of the shampoo on. Now this is not a dye. It is a toner. So it's going to take away all the brassy tones or all the yellow tones in there and kind of just make it more ashy. So that's all I'm doing there. And then I just left it sit for 20 minutes and then after after 20 minutes, I'm just going to rinse off the purple shampoo. So it gave it a really nice tone and then it actually matched my hair very, very well. So yay for these extensions. I love them. If you want a front poof, what I'm going to do is use my thumbs and kind of just scoop them and bring them together like this and sectioning off a top part of my hair into a U shape as you can see in this diagram right here. Clip that hair out of the way. And for the ponytail, I'm gonna split my hair in the back into two sections and then take some hair on the top and move that out of the way for now just so it can cover the ponytail. However high you want your ponytail, this is how you're going to make it right now. And I'm going to comb that out and create a little tiny baby ponytail. I have tried many ways to put in hair extensions wearing a high ponytail and this is the way that works best for me. So make a tiny little baby ponytail and all I'm going to do is I'm going to clip my extensions around the ponytail. So kind of building up that small ponytail into a bigger ponytail. I work with the smaller extensions first, so like the one clip ones, and then I move on to the bigger ones. However many you put in your hair is your choice. However thick you want the ponytail to be, the more extensions you would put in your head. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just clipping them all around that baby ponytail. It's very, very, very simple. Now I'm going to flip my head back and just gather all my hair into the ponytail where that mini ponytail is. And as you can see, your hair should now cover the extensions fully. And now you can comb out all the bumps into your desired look you can make this really really sleek or you can do a bumpy or messy whatever you want and then tie a hair elastic around all of that hair and this is what I have so far so this is an easy way to put in extensions with a high ponytail now taking um, just a chunk of the hair and I'm just going to wrap that around my ponytail because I don't want my ponytail showing and I just like the look of that and then bobby pinning that behind the ponytail and getting it right in there so it hides it a bit as much as possible take down your bangs or your front section. Give them a quick brush and I'm going to hairspray them at the roots and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just tease these. You don't have to tease if you don't want to and then I'm going to kind of pull at it on the sides to make it a little bit longer and then smooth it out so that you don't look like you have a rat's nest or tease going on. Then I'm going to twist the hair. This helps to secure it and then I just push that up so it gives you kind of an instant volume and then bobby pin that in place. Now I'm going to take the Cortex 4-in-1 curl 
curling iron and I'm just going to spray some hairspray throughout the ponytail there. And to make these beautiful curls, all I'm going to do is wrap sections of hair about this big around the cortex curling iron until it's like that. For the very top middle of your ponytail, what I like to do is curl it like this, if that makes any sense or that helps in any way. It gives you a lot of volume if you curl it like this. So look at that bump right there. That's what you want. And now I have these two awkward pieces from when we did the poof. And all I do is I just take those and I just wrap them around the wrap that we created earlier to kind of take them and kind of move them out of the way because they're a little bit awkward looking and then just pin them back. Once all of my hair is curled, this is very simple. I just take pieces and wrap it around the barrel. It should look something like this. I love this hair. You can keep it like this because this is very cute. But what I choose is I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I just tease the bottom of the ponytail and then I take sections and kind of tease that, the top, the middle, the sides. I kind of just lightly tease it all over just to give it a really cute and big effect. And it also loosens up your curls as well. So they're not as tight and perfect, shall we say. They're a little bit messy. And then I'm going to smooth those out as well because we don't want to look like we have really, really messy or naughty hair and it should look like this when we are complete and I just love this hair. The extensions blend so well and they match my hair. I love them. So for this hair tutorial you could leave it straight into a high ponytail or you could curl it like this or you could use a really cute headband preferably with a big bow on the side. You could use some ears or some bows which are really really cute and simple to put in just like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it and thumbs it up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. And if you are still around watching this, you can go ahead and click my last two videos down below. And now it's time for my four cuties of the day, which come from YouTube. Bella Bug 45, Lily Malteas, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Natalia Levi's, and Tori Joyce. Thank you cuties. I love you guys so much. Mwah.